Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at provisioning Yaling phones on a Yaystar S series phone system. So there's a lot of uh, auto provisioning that's already built into the Yaystar S series. It's one of the better phone systems that we've seen, probably one of the best in terms of auto provisioning phones and how easy it is. Uh, the one drawback is you can't cover everything. The Yaling phones are very comprehensive and not everything is in there. Now, a couple of things that we would love to roll out uh, across all phones is a distinctive ring so that the uh, in, internal calls and external calls sound differently. Can't do that uh, with the, um, uh, the UI, the user interface for uh, Yaling phones on the Yaystar S series phone system. So we've got to do a special way. The other one is multicast paging. And so we've got to put multicast addresses in each and every one of the phones for multicast uh, paging to work properly. And again, you can't do that in the Yaystar interface. So uh, let's jump in. But before we do, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Helia Canada. We've got tons of great videos on there, all things uh, uh, telephony, lots of Yay Link, lots of Yay Star paging devices, just a load of stuff. So have a look at that. Also, at the end of the video, we have a coupon for our online store, buyphonesonline.ca, and please check that out. All right, without further ado, let's jump in and see how this is done. Okay, so this is the Yaystar S-Series phone system. Uh, Auto-provisioning happens in here, auto-provisioning app. Uh, and then normally you would create a template and you can set certain things in here. So we're going to edit this real quickly. You can see line keys. We can put uh, room, uh, just a ton of stuff. Now, what we don't see, of course, is a place to put the multicast address. And so that's what we're going to look at. Now, to do that, we need to find this auto-provisioning template. Now, you can download this off the Yaylink uh, website. I probably have uh, this address down below in YouTube. Uh, so check the notes down there. Uh, once you download this, you're going to open it up and you will find this common config. Now, this gets loaded uh, if it's on the Yaystar phone system. So we want to put it on uh, the Yaystar phone system, but we got to modify it first. Here is uh, is what it looks like. So there's a couple things we're going to add in here. First is our multicast. So I've got uh, some of the lines for our multicast here that we want to do. Here we are. Uh, this is the first one. There's the address that we're going to use for uh, the multicast. We're going to put a label in, and then the page priority is 10. So let's uh, go over here, uh, multicast. We're going to go F, F um, uh, Control F for find, and we're going to go multi. Cast. Now, I'm using Notepad++ here. Uh, download it. It's free. It's way better than most other editors, um, and so you're going to be easier. Now, in this file, uh, these here, Octothorpe, Octothorpe, or Hash, or whatever you want to call them, uh, they mean that's a comment. So it's not going to read these ones here. If we go down, uh, this is what we're going to be editing. Now, we don't want to duplicate uh, lines up here, because if we do... Um, we're never sure really what's going to happen. So uh, paging, channel, channel, we're going to leave at default. Uh, label is page, IP address is here, and the re, uh, receive priority is 10. And you can see that's the same here. Uh, receive priority 10, label, IP address, all the same. So that's super important. Um, I got these things, by the way, by downloading the non-static config changes off of my Yaling phone, this one here. So I know exactly, I set them in the web interface and then I saved the config with the uh, non-static changes and that's where I got here. Now the other thing I want to do here is set the distinctive ringtone. So I'm going to select this, uh, bring it over here, search for that and there we go. So we can see ringer and text. I'm going to go in here, select uh, this exactly like it is, like Yaylink uh, put it, and we're going to put it in there. We should actually put the spaces in here too. That's uh, uh, if it's more the same, it's going to be safer. So uh, I'm going to put the spaces in here, just like in the uh, save file, 
And that's about it. So now we got to save this file. Uh, I'm going to find out where I saved it to. You can say yay link, yay link. Okay. And that's in my downloads. Perfect. Uh, and so now we're going to upload uh, this file. So I'm going to go over to my uh, auto provisioning. Again, we're going to upload files. We're going to upload the file. Uh, and this is uh, downloads. I should hide this from you guys. There's too much stuff in there. And we're going to upload this file that we just did. Upload. Now that file is in there. Now what's going to happen is when the phones are auto provisioned, first it always Yaling phones always look for this file. So it's going to uh, it's going to implement this file, and then it's going to look for all of its settings files on top of that. Um, what we do need to do is you need to make sure that all of the phones reboot to reprovision themselves. Uh, so that these things come up. Now, a good way to do that is by just power cycling uh, the phone. So that was uh, configuring uh, Yaling phones on the Yaystar S-Series phone system and putting in the common parameters. Uh, there's more great videos that we have on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Canada. Uh, so please check that out. But also uh, check out our online store at uh, www.buyphonesonline.ca. Uh, and there's a coupon coming up uh, right after this. I'm Dara Zook with the Helia Technology Report. Thanks for watching.